How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another ARC Let's Build video, and in today's video, we're going to be building this circular workshop that you see in front of you now. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with voiceover instructions so you can get this build on your ARC. And make sure you check out the description below for a full list of building materials, as well as the map cords where I built this. And also guys, all of the paint and decorations on this build was done by You Were A Monkey. I'm going to leave her channel linked down in the description as well as a comment. Make sure you guys go check her out and show her some love for all of her hard work on this build. But anyways guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video. And let's go ahead and let's get to building. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is actually build the circular foundation. So to do this, we're going to start off by placing a hexagon of wooden triangle foundations. So just three like this, and then three more in front of those. Then we're going to come to the inline here between two of these foundations, and we're going to go ahead and get out a wooden ceiling and snap one to each side of that inline. So just like this, go ahead and get out a wooden fence foundation, and we're going to be looking for this snap point right here that is sort of in between the two wooden ceilings. Go ahead and then pick up these two ceilings. We're going to do this on the other five inlines between our triangle foundations. And when we get to the last one, we're going to go ahead and leave the ceilings in place. All right, so like I said, we're going to leave those last two ceilings in place. So the next thing we're going to do is come in here to the middle and between where we have these two fence foundations on that ceiling, we're going to go ahead and get out more fence foundations and we're going to place three more between each of those two. So what we're going to be looking for is three separate snap points. So the first one is going to be right here. We're going to look for another one right over here and then one more between the two of those. Now we're going to do the same thing over here on this ceiling between those two fence foundations. And then once you have all three of those placed between the two sets, you can just go ahead and pick up or destroy the ceiling. Now we're going to go ahead and add two more wooden ceilings on each side of this fence foundation right here. So just like this. And then we're just going to do the same thing that we just did. Now finally, we'll do the same thing over here on this wooden fence foundation, so a ceiling on each side. And then go ahead and again add your three wooden fence foundations between them. So now you'll see once we have those all placed, we'll have kind of this spiral effect of wooden fence foundations. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start adding some pillars to this circle. So what we're gonna do is start off right here on one of our corners of our foundation, and we're going to place a wooden pillar on that fence foundation. Then we're just gonna go around and we're gonna skip each fence foundation and place another pillar. All right, so now that we have these initial pillars placed, what we're gonna do is on one of these pillars, we're going to place another pillar snapped out from it and then do this one more time. So just like that, go around and do this to each of these pillars. Now that we have these initial ones placed, what we're gonna do is come back in here and destroy all of these pillars that we have placed on the inside ring. And now we're gonna go ahead and place pillars on the spots that we skipped before. So starting right here, place one on this fence foundation, and then now just skip that one and place another one and continue doing this around. And then just like we did before, we're gonna take another pillar out from this one right here, and then one more out from that, and do that in front of all of our new pillars. Now we'll go ahead in here to our inside pillars, and we're gonna add a stone ceiling on top of each of these pillars. 
So make sure you get one on top of every single pillar. And then you can also go ahead and fill in the center with another stone ceiling. Now on our second row, we'll do the exact same thing, a stone ceiling on top of each pillar. Now for our outside most row, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing a thatch ceiling on top of each one of these pillars. Now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and get out a stone fence foundation. What we're going to do is we're going to look at one of these thatch ceilings so that the fence foundation is placing on the ground. Now there are going to be two snap points you can get. We want to make sure we get that inside snap point. So you see we have this inside snap point and then we have the outside more snap point. We want to make sure we get that inside one. So go ahead and place it down and we're just going to continue doing this all the way around. Again, make sure you're getting the inside snap point so that they all line up. All right, now that you have all of those stone fence foundations placed and they're all lined up, you can just go ahead and replace these thatch ceilings on the outermost ring with stone ceilings. All right, now the last step for our circle is to place our walls below. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by hanging a stone wall down from each of these outside ceilings. Now we're gonna go around and place a stone wall coming up from each of those foundations. Now, if we had have placed the fence foundation on the outside snap point, these would be obstructed. That's why it was so important to make sure we got the inside snap point. And so there you have it. That is our circle foundation. So now we can actually start building the workshop up on top of it. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is come into any side of our circle and go ahead and place a wooden ladder above the wall just like that. Go ahead and jump up and grab that wooden ladder to climb on top of it and to get you up here onto the platform. Now, this is just for you guys that are not using creative mode. I'm obviously gonna go back to creative mode, but we need to get up here on top to kind of figure out our sides first before we start building our stairs up here. So what we're gonna do is get out a stone wall. And if that stone wall has this green kind of side right here, that is a good spot that we want. We just want to make sure we don't have this light blue side like this. So go ahead and get out to this green side and then replace that with a stone double door frame. Place that down. Go ahead and place another stone wall right here facing like this. Do that again right here. Now place another stone double door frame. Another stone wall. One more stone wall. Another stone double door frame. Then two more stone walls another door frame, and then two more walls. So this is just gonna help us determine where we're gonna place our stairs. All right, now for our staircase, we're gonna first pick a side that we want to be our front. So I'm gonna use this side right here, and we're gonna come in line with where we have that opening from the stone double door frames and place a stone foundation on the ground in front of our circle, just like that. Now here on the side of it, go ahead and add a stone triangle foundation and then two more right here in front of that. We're gonna get out another one right here and you'll see right now it's obstructed so we need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get this one right here that is not obstructed. Go ahead and place that and do the same thing over here on this side. Now we're gonna go ahead and place the appropriate sloped stone wall on each side of the regular foundation and then just drop a stone stair down and one more to get us to the ground. Now we'll go ahead and get out a stone railing and add two on this side. One more over here on our front. And one more over here on this side, right in front of the stair, like this. Go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Now we're gonna go ahead and build two more sets of these stairs, one on each of our sides. So one over here and one over there. We're not gonna do it on the back side. So just come over here to the side, get in line with where we have that opening and do the same thing.
Next, we're gonna place some fence foundations for our pillars. So we're gonna start off here on one of our sides. We're gonna skip in front of the stair and come to this spot right here and add one. We'll add one on the next four spots. So one, two, three, four. And then on this spot right here, which will be in line with this gap, we're gonna skip that spot and add one on the next five spots. We will again skip our stair. We're gonna add five more right here, skip that stair, and then add five more right there. And then again, obviously we won't place one on that stair. Now to start adding some pillars, we're gonna start off here on our front, right here where this railing goes into the wall, we're going to add a stone pillar on this snap point. Go ahead and snap one more below it going into the ground. Then we're gonna go on this corner where our stair goes up and add one more like this and one more on top of it. Do the same thing on the other side of the stair. And then again, right here, we're gonna go ahead and place one more on the snap point and one more going into the ground. And we'll just go ahead and do the same thing on our other two stair sets. Now we're gonna go ahead to our backside over here. And on this one right here where we didn't place the fence foundation, We'll come to the side of it and add one more right here, one more going up and one more going down. Do that again over here on this side right here. Then we'll go to the next snap point over and add one more on it and one more going down. And do that over here as well. Now on the remaining snap points that we have between our sets of pillars we've already placed, we're just gonna add one on the snap point. So one right there and one right here and do this in the other three gaps as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and start working on our outside wall for the outside of the circle. So first where we have a staircase, we're gonna go ahead and get out a stone double door frame. Now you won't be able to see it. You just have to trust that you're placing it in the middle right here. Go ahead and get out a reinforced double door and fill that in and then place a stone wall on top of it. Go ahead and do this on our other two sets of stairs. Then go over to the backside and between these pillars right here, we're just gonna go ahead and place two high stone walls. And then on any one of these sides, we're gonna go ahead and start off by placing greenhouse walls on each one of these and then go ahead and add stone walls on top of them. Then just go ahead and repeat this on the other three sides. All right, now inside the doorway of the front side of our build, we're gonna go ahead and place a wooden ladder just like this so that we are able to climb on it. But before we do that, we're gonna place one more right here like this and one more right here like this. Then head back to the front and go ahead and climb on this wooden ladder. Get out an industrial forge and just look a little bit ahead so that it's not placing on top of us. And then go ahead and jump off. And we're gonna bring this to the center of our build. And basically what we're gonna do is looking at this ladder, we're just going to line up that front of the industrial forge. So it's just a little bit to the inside of this wooden ladder. So just like this, go ahead and then check on your back and front side and just kind of make sure that it looks like it's pretty evenly lined up on each side. Once you do that, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy these wooden ladders, all three of them. And then you can just go ahead and place one more layer of stone walls on top of each of these spots going around our industrial forge. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start building up our interior walls. So starting here on the inside of our front side, we're gonna go ahead and place a stone wall right here and add another one on top of it. In the next spot, we'll place a stone double door frame, just one high. Do the same thing on the other side of the door frame. You wanna make sure you're getting this snap point. 
so that it goes in line towards the center of our build. So just like that. Now go ahead and do that on our other two sides that have our stairs. Now we'll go ahead to our back side and we're gonna do this again on the back side. And then here on our back side, we're also gonna go ahead and add a stone double door frame right here. Now continuing right here on this back portion, we're gonna go ahead and place an electrical generator inside of it. And you just wanna kinda of like back this up so it's going a little bit into the pillars, but not through the wall. So just about like that, go ahead and place your vertical cable and then go ahead and add your outlet. And then we're just gonna go ahead and fill in the double door frame with reinforced double doors and then place a stone wall on top. And just check and make sure that it's not sticking through this back wall and you are good to go. Next, we're gonna add the outer ring of our ceiling. So we're gonna start off over here on one of our sides by placing a wooden ceiling right here between these walls and then add a wooden hatch frame on each side of it and fill that in with a reinforced trap door. Go ahead and do this on our other side as well. Then we are gonna go ahead and between this hatch frame and the hatch frame over there, we're gonna add a greenhouse ceiling on each one of these walls as I'm doing. Go ahead then and do that on the back side as well. And then we are just gonna go ahead over to one of our sides again. It doesn't really matter which side, but I'm gonna use this side over here. And we're just gonna go ahead and add a wooden ladder coming down from one of these hatch frames. All right, now for the inner ring of our ceiling, we're again gonna start off over here on one of our sides by placing a wooden catwalk in this position right here on each side of the ceiling, just like that. You can then go ahead and fill in this wooden ceiling. Go ahead and do that on the other side as well. Then we are just gonna go ahead and add wooden catwalks on every spot between these two sections. So just like this. Now you can go ahead inside the build and anywhere where we place those one high stone double door frames, you can now go ahead and add another one on top to reach our catwalks. All right, now back on the front side of our build, we're gonna come up top here and we're gonna stay in line with where we have our door down below. And right here on this inline kind of circle, we're gonna go ahead and place a stone door frame right here in the middle. Fill that in with a reinforced door. We'll go ahead and then add two greenhouse walls to the side of it. Then we will place a stone wall right here. We'll place two more greenhouse walls on this corner. Another stone door frame here on the back with a reinforced door. We'll place two more greenhouse walls right here, another stone wall, and then two more greenhouse walls. Now we're gonna go ahead and add greenhouse walls on top of all of the greenhouse and a stone wall on top of all of the stone. Next, go ahead and add a layer of stone walls going all the way around. And then finally at the very top, go ahead and add a layer of greenhouse walls going all the way around. Back on the front side, we're gonna head in here to this wall just left of our door right there. And we're gonna start off by placing a sloped stone wall right. Then we'll place a stone wall and another sloped one. Two more normal walls and another sloped. Three more normal walls and another sloped and then four more normal stone walls and another sloped. And then finally, right here above this door, we will place four greenhouse walls and then finish it off with a stone wall. So now right here, we're just gonna go in reverse order. So we're gonna start off with four stone walls and then a sloped stone wall left. We'll do three and then a left right here, two and then a left, one and then a left, and then just a left. So now that'll give us this shape like this. So we're just gonna go ahead and duplicate this over here on the other side. Now 
Now we'll build up our supports for our middle. So we're gonna come in here where we have these regular wooden ceilings. And first we're gonna place a wooden wall and then a sloped wooden wall left. And then just another sloped wooden wall left here. Go to the other side and do the same thing just using the sloped right walls now. And then just go ahead and fill this in with sloped wooden roofs. So now go ahead over to the other side and do the same thing over here. All right, now we're going to go ahead and add some more details starting off here on our side. We're going to come in in front of these greenhouse walls and place a thatch ceiling in front of each one. Then we're going to get out stone railings and you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get this light blue snap point that is actually placing on the thatch ceiling. Go ahead and place these down on each thatch ceiling. And then go ahead and just destroy those thatch ceilings. So now we're going to go ahead and do this on the other three sides as well. So now that we have all of those lower ones done, we're going to go ahead and do this one right here. So what we're going to do is again, place a thatch ceiling down here at the bottom. Then we're going to get out a stone door frame and we are going to be looking for this snap point right here. So again, you may need to rotate that snap point to get it using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. But then once you have this light blue snap point, we're actually then going to flip the door frame around again using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it's placing like this. Now just go ahead and place three more on top of that one, being very careful that you are getting the right snap point and not destroying the greenhouse wall. So it should look like this now. So now just go to the other side and do the same thing over here. So there we go. So now we're going to do one more thing to add some detail. So again, right here on these greenhouse walls in front of them, we're going to go ahead and place a thatch ceiling in front of each one. And then again, just like we did down below, we're going to get out a stone railing and we're going to be looking for this light blue snap point and just place one on each thatch ceiling. Now at the very top, we're just gonna go ahead and place a greenhouse ceiling attached to each one of these walls. Kind of creating like a ring going around this innermost circle. And then we will go ahead and just fill this in. You wanna kind of make sure you're going to the front. So just fill it in right like this in this direction. So just like that. And then we're just gonna go ahead and add stone railings on top of each one of those ceilings. All right, guys, so now we're just going to go ahead. The last thing we're going to do is fill out this inside area with all of our crafting stuff. So the first area we're going to do is back here where we have our generator right here to the side of it. We're going to go ahead and place down our chem bench. Just get it nice and tight to the back wall as well as the side wall right here. Just like this. Now to the side of that, we're going to go ahead and add three vaults and you should be able to fit three to the side of this. Just go ahead and same way. Just get them as snug as you can to the chem bench. And then they should all be able to fit in here pretty snug to each other, even with a little bit of room between them. Just like that. Now on the other side where we have our generator, we're going to go ahead and place a cryopod or a cryo fridge right here that we're going to use for keeping our work tames cryoed inside of it. And then right to the side of that, we're going to go ahead and place down our fabricator. Again, you just kind of want to make sure it's as snug as you possibly can get it. That looks pretty good. And then next to that, we're going to go ahead and place down our smithy just like this. Now in the other two bays, we're, we're just going to go ahead and place down four vaults in each one of these bays. So just start off here up against the wall as tight as you can get it. And then just continue them around the bay. 
Now if you want, you could sacrifice one of these storage bays to fit a grinder in. I just chose to fill these last two bays out with storage. And I'm not getting the spacing absolutely perfect, but there is a little bit of space here. So you would kind of want to bring these ones over a little bit more. So on this one, we'll just kind of start a little bit off of the wall, just like that. And we'll just leave a little gap between each one. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for the building portion of this video. Now, as always, you or a monkey is going to come in here and work her magic on the paint and decorations. So guys, stick around for one more second and I will show you real quickly what she comes up with. All right, guys, so as always, you or a monkey has hooked us up with some awesome paint and some great not only decorations, but also additions to our build. So I'm just going to kind of real quickly show you guys what she has done. But again, guys, as always, she will have her own video of this. So I'm going to leave it linked below. Make sure you guys go check out that video and show her some love. So obviously, first things you can see here is this awesome paint scheme that she's hooked us up with. She's also built us these little yards here on the outside to keep all of our harvesting dinos. So we have these ones here on the front, and then we also have some over here on the back. So we've got some more yards back here to keep some more dinosaurs just hanging out outside. Up here on the top, she has hooked us up with this great effect using the tech force field up here to give us this really cool kind of dome on the top of our build. We've got some Argens hanging out up here and kind of the idea of, it, of this is that you would bring the Argens carrying your Anki and just kind of drop it off up here. And then you can just open this door up and hot swap your metal from your Anki into your forge. And then if we head inside, she's basically just kind of hooked us up with the same red and black and whatnot paint scheme here on the inside, just to kind of keep it matching out there with the outside. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. Guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Go ahead and leave me some feedback in the comments below. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, go check out some other builds. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future arc Let's Build videos. Also, guys, once again, I'll say it, go check out You Are a Monkey's channel and show her some love for all of her hard work on this build. And also, guys, check out the description below for a link to some of my social media and my Discord and come hang out with us there. But anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much again for being here today, checking out this video and have a great day.